What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and this is a Raid Shadow Legends video. By the way, this is not the free to play 2024 competition. Uh, this is actually a free to play 2024 holding all my shards. Nah, yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. Hey yo, what's up? Y'all got a problem? So, a few weeks ago, three weeks ago, I start this account and my plan was hold every single shard above uh, mystery shards so the only shards I've been allowed to actually open are mystery everything else ancient void uh, mythical shards everything else is being held on for a big opening in about one week so next weekend I should be opening these shards hopefully it's gonna be a special event I have 58 ancient right now four void one primal and one sick and four sacred shards right so I've been working on and the reason why I start this account is I had this big big question and I actually found kind of an answer on MTG Jedi uh, and but the difference is he has uh, an account level 100 uh, also he's a well he has every single one of the main you know champions that you need to like clear all content in the game so I felt wasn't fair for someone that is a free-to-play or low spender okay to know how many shards you can actually get now again remember this is a brand new account not clearing that much yet so we're gonna be opening the shards next week and after that I gonna hold two months worth of shards and open two months later after that the plan is three months holding shards and then six months so one of now the six months one I may actually only hold void primal and sacred shards I don't know yet I'm still debating on that uh, but until the six month mark I will be holding ancient shards as well so in one week I gonna find out pretty much what my roster gonna be the following months okay what is pretty exciting because um, it to be honest this account helped me a lot on the free to play 2024 competition because I had to learn to level with the most horrible champions I could get a hold on okay if you guys look at my roster right now it's sad let me just put it like this so this is my roster okay I do have the seven day login what was great El Hain. now there's that big debate which one's better you know El Hain, Kyle sorry about that um, what I see is El Hain is great to clear campaign she is awesome she has two big nukes great now when you go to like clan boss El Hain has issues because she doesn't have poisons she doesn't have the stuff that actually cause big damage on the clan boss so clan boss being very hard actually my free to play for the competition is a lot better on hitting the clan boss because poisons plus I was allowed to open uh, other types of shards not just mit uh, mystery shards so I was actually at uh, able to get other poisoners uh, better champions so lower level but still getting more damage on the clan boss now have I cleared as much on the campaign no because I have El Hain and I had the, uh, the option to get Sun Wukong on this account so Sun Wukong is great because it's uh, it's opposite to El Hain right so uh, when I get force champion when I go against force champions much easier to clear with him plus he has his own revive so unless I get a block revive hit on him I'm just fine I'm running just fine so this is the big difference between those accounts uh, so yeah so I just want to give an update uh, I haven't touched much on that since you know I've been doing the free-to-play uh, competition 
So, yeah, pretty excited. I, I, I'll be honest, I can't wait to open those shards. And hopefully I'm going to get the champions I need. Uh, yeah, it would be great. And I am learning a lot, you know. Um, in the future, um, I have a plan as well to uh, do a free-to-play, but a kind of like a walkthrough. So, pretty much, uh, mostly for new players, it's going to be like a Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. So, you guys want to learn the game, I'm going to pretty much digest everything from the beginning, how I do, how I get the points I I get uh, how fast I get levels, but pretty much going from zero to 50 and above, okay? And pretty much laid down the best ways, at least for me, how to approach content in this game. Yeah, guys, uh, it's been great. And by the way, I don't know, this week I may have, I don't know if it's going to be a stream or another video because I'm about to reach 3,000 subscribers. And I only have uh, this competition to thank a lot of uh, a lot of the other content creators gave me shout outs and everything and it's been helping me a lot I'm very glad to be back to YouTube uh, I actually had some people messaging from the old game I used to cover so I'm very excited uh, I'm really really excited with that I'm very happy to be back with you guys uh, I know it's a different game but I'm just happy to be here I appreciate you all if you guys can subscribe it would be freaking amazing all right and guys as always i'll see you in the game